Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the charts together, analysing the current downtrend that we are seeing, where the next really important support is and the resistance that we can be looking for once again is short position. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I truly hope that you love this video. I am here once again, obviously back from vacation, back today, ready to absolutely crush the charts with you. Wow, it's, it feels good to say that. I have missed it. I'm not going to lie. I have missed this. And so it feels good to be connected once again with you in today's video as we are going to do what we absolutely love. And I mean, love, 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 love. And that is trading Bitcoin. Without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it today. And bam, here we are, Bitcoin. Obviously, after that swing failure pattern, I mean, this is, if you've watched my last video, which of course I recommend, um, we were obviously talking about this swing failure pattern and how it brought us down to the bottom of the local range. Again, this was obviously between around 46,000, obviously to $52,000, okay? And during this segment, Obviously, myself <laughs> and many others have been in this simple idea of short and chill. What do we mean by short and chill? It really simply means having short positions open. And remember, I was approaching this from a swing trader's perspective. E.g., I was not down on the lower term time frame time frames, trying to get in micro positions in, out, in, out. No, I was obviously on vacation. I was it with a swing trader's perspective, and it was okay. I want to take the highest probability trade and not try and close. All of this position, okay, because I'm aware of the the outcome is the highest probability lower. And what were we mentioning in that video? Why was the highest probability lower, to be fair? And it was obviously because we were doing consolidation above support. So you might want to write this down. I, I like to share. <laughs> and so this is a really important bit of information. Okay, so consolidation above support is considered bearish. And obviously, we had our range low here. Okay, I hope you can see this mouse. Some people say, I can't see the mouse. But uh, <laughs> basically, we had the local range low around 46,000. And what we were doing here was we obviously had hit it once on the 30th of December. We hit it then again on the 31st. We then hit it again on the 3rd. We then hit it again on the 4th. And at this point on the, the touch on the 4th, which was significant to me, was that we had broken that higher low structure. Okay, so we'd obviously originally formed a higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And on the, this wick here, that higher low was broken after taking this. It formed one more weak rally, forming once again in this local part here. You can see it very, very clearly, just you know, very bearish market structure, unable to break any of that local market structure with consolidation at support after breaking the medium term frame market structure. Again, this is I wouldn't say this is complex, but there's a lot, there's a few different moving parts. Again, for a beginner, probably going to struggle. Let's not lie. They're probably going to have struggled here. But for an advanced trader, it's pretty simple. Okay, we had broken the medium term mark market structure on that break of the fourth. We rally up one more time to form once again a lower high, continued that consolidation above support, and really simply the range low broke. There was no swing failure pattern. There has not yet been any sort of failed auction. So really simply, there was absolutely no long setup to be had. I mean, if you come down here on a, even on a very low time frame, you just see it straight down. No support put up during all of this move. And really simply, if you listened to me <laughs> um, from the last, well, for, I mean, from the last video, for the past videos that I've been doing for the past like three weeks, you know, long and sh short and chill from that swing failure pattern. And this is what I was saying to you all and really trying to emphasize, you know, I really want to emphasize this. So it's just so totally important. It all come down to being prepared. You know, this is obviously from the 23rd of December before, before we had even done that swing failure pattern of the high. It's being aware. OK, what do we want? I mean, this was even prior to this. It's, it's knowing we want to see that move above $52,000. We want to see the failed auction or the swing failure pattern, okay? And this is like what's integrated, integrated, ingrained into our brains, okay? You can see here, this is from the Bitcoin charts only inside of the Discord group. This was the only trading idea that I had posted. And it has this thus been the only trading idea I have posted, I've not updated this. So you're seeing the, the live information. But it was, it was this focus on we want to see the swing failure pattern above this high. If we do not get this, we get no trade. But we are ready and waiting for that short position. Why? Because it's an incredibly, an incredibly high 
probability short. If we see that, we know what to do. It's a short position above, you know, above that $52,000. Obviously, we got it. And why do I emphasize this so, 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 so much? Well, this is what I'm going to explain now. You know, some people will call these ideas, these levels, these these, these things magic. Other people will say, hey, it's a, it's a whale. He can move the market. Other people will say, it's lucky. You know, I got, I got lucky with that short. But I call it absolutely none of those things. It's all to do with the technical analysis and having that plan and being prepared. E.g., you know the move of your competition, like I, like I call this. This is 5D chess, okay? 5D chess. Why is it 5D chess? Because we are ready and waiting for what our opponent is going to do before they do it. E.g., we know the longs are going to, you know, they're going to try and long the breakout here. We know their move before they even know it themselves. Because you see here how we are playing 5D chess with millions and millions and millions of other opponents simultaneously. We are predicting their trades before they even know the trade that they are going to take themselves. Is you, we are planned out for each scenario and we know our entry trigger. We know that we know the trigger that tells us this is the short position. Okay, and obviously for us, this was in the end, the swing failure pattern. And I emphasize this once again, why was this such a successful trade? Really simply, we were ready, planned, and, and it was very actionable. Okay, it was not a difficult idea. Swing failure pattern, failed auction. What can we say? We got it exactly as predicted above that high. That's a short position. And really simply this activates that swing short. Why is it a swing short? Because we have then taken the range high with a swing failure pattern, with longs on the breakout. It was um, it was just kind of like, all, it all led into a perfect scenario. Obviously it hit take profit one, take profit two, and then we can start to consolidate at the support here. And as I said in my last video, hey, for me, I am keeping my shorts open. Why? consolidation above support and funding rates getting paid funding and there was zero sign of strength zero sign of strength okay so there was just absolutely no reason to close it and obviously what's happened here we've broke down once again so i've talked you through this initial section once more with a big you know trying to truly explain like what was going on here why this breakdown has happened and now obviously you're going to be looking for what what's next okay well really simply for me and many others still in the same situation of this short and chill why would i still hold the shorts and i and i do i still hold all of my short positions open which is now four four different shorts uh, obviously the highest being my my best one obviously those shorts from all around $69,000 as soon as it hits $69,000 short 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 you know all at market got a nice average entry and bam of course i hold these short positions why okay this is the important thing why am i holding these shorts okay well the simple factor is we remain with no sign of strength okay even on the larger term time frame no sign of strength here okay not only that we're getting paid brilliant funding okay so the funding rates are still paying us as every eight hours okay there's no sign of strength um th this is enough <laughs> to be honest this is enough we have an overall idea that we can still head lower so for me this is the trigger now where would i close my shorts well naturally it's going to have to be one of two things lower in the chart which would one would say is preferred naturally or a sign of strength and i think a lot of people get burnt in this market because they're too premature trying to close short positions enter longs because everybody puts bitcoin on a pedestal everybody thinks bitcoin is the king oh bitcoin is going to a hundred thousand dollars i need to get in i need to get in you know the fomo on this asset is uh, is large yeah people are obsessed with the asset and what you will learn via chart champions is it doesn't matter the asset at the end of the day i can be trading bitcoin Cosmos, Polkadot, Tezos, Link, Gold, Silver, Nvidia. Like what I'm saying here is, is I, I don't care about the asset. Yeah, I have no personal connection or feelings for these charts at all. This is why I'm so open to longing. I'm so open to shorting the asset. All I care about is a high probability trade. Yeah when it comes to trading, I focus on the chart. I don't think about what I'm trading. I'm just like, okay, this is the chart. This is the next trade I'm going to take. And then when it comes, I execute. Okay. Whereas I think a lot of people lose money on Bitcoin 
because they are emotionally attached to it. You know, and I, you know, I could go through a whole list of altcoins that are very sentimental to people, but people become obsessed with the asset. Okay, and this is dangerous. This is very, very, very dangerous. Why? Because you are more likely to want along the asset because you have a personal connection to it. You're more less likely to short it or, you know, sell because you're like, oh, I might sell and it will pump. You know, <laughs> who cares? If, if you have no emotional attachment to it, you truly do not care. Okay. Uh, anyway, bit of a tangent. <laughs> I could speak about this for hours. But anyway. Where was I going with this? Well, the next support to the downside, of course, it's going to be our uptrend support line, which is, you know, from quite far back here. We have our uptrend uh, with obviously around this sort of daily level. So if I just zoom in a bit here so you can see, um, you know, this is obviously our region from around 40,000 to about $41,000. No. Um, so we obviously have this as a, you know, it's a definitely is a, definitely a zone. OK, because we've seen this, you know, quite a few times where we put in a slight higher low slash that double bottom. So we have this bit of a support zone. So we could say here, we're, yeah, we're kind of in no man's land. Don't really see a, an amazing trade here. Okay, for me personally, and again, I'm trading my plans. Yeah, no, you do, you do have to try and formulate your own plans here. For me, there, there's nothing really interesting here. There's a lot more volatility in the alts. And again, just because the alts are red, you can short the altcoins. You can make money while an asset's going down. There is definitely opportunity today with the altcoins, in my opinion, a bit more than Bitcoin while it remains in this mini range. OK, so if I start to see it break back above, which in my opinion is the biggest resistance now on the Bitcoin chart, which is around forty seven thousand dollars. Why? Because this is a massive volume level okay, of this range. So for, it comes in actually at forty seven thousand two hundred. But we're looking around that again at that zone of forty seven thousand dollars. You know, this for me is the next interesting level above us. Yeah, where I'm really, really, really interested in it for a high term time frame trade. OK, it's either going to be a reclaim or, or of course, a rejection from that level or we move down towards our daily level and again if there is no support found here and we just plummet through it hey i'm absolutely fine by that i look for a next trade lower down once again but if we start to see support come in we start to see our absorption we start to see our divergences come in well then this activates a trade no if we see that so it's, you know if imagine if we see this a swing failure pattern retesting that low with our bullish divergences you know that eg the, the absorption coming in with your limit orders holding up the market shorts you know that's what we're talking about you know just so you can visualize this this is what we'd be talking about for you know that for that really high probability trade do you have a long where we are here yes i do believe so if you are a very very low term time frame trader eg you're down here on the three five minute charts of course you do have a long setup okay because you know, if you look at the order flow here, you kind of come in back again with your, you know, the bullish divergences. And then you have got, you know, a bit of longs coming in here. You see here 19 million new longs. But again, this is very, very, very low time frame trading. And, and I, I would class it as a missed trade already. OK, if I wasn't in it, I would I would class it as a missed trade. So by the time this video is uploaded, of course, it's definitely a missed trade. But the, the, the focus here is, yes, low term time frame sculpt traders. Yeah, of course, they can be taking positions down and around here. That's that's a given. There's always a trade or for the low term time frames. But if we're talking about the swing trades again we're talking about high probability trades uh in my opinion i would be either looking for the reclaim of you know that high volume level or alternatively a move to the move to the daily level here again i'm not really that interested in taking a trade here on a swing traders perspective yes i could come and sculpt this Maybe I will. I'm going to take you know a look at the altcoins because for me they're a bit more you know, highly volatile today. E.g., uh, you know, I've loved to trade Atom recently. It's just, I mean, today Atom is down four percent. I mean, the volatility on this is is really 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 nice. Obviously, bouncing off. The, we retested the monthly. We risk tested that monthly yesterday, and it come back for a ten percent bounce. Coming back for the retest. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this at the moment. But um, yeah, e.g., there's a lot of opportunity on the altcoins. So uh, I'm more than happy to remain patient here on Bitcoin waiting for the outcome of this mini range okay if it breaks up i know the level that is critical if it breaks down i know the level that's critical eg i have started to formulate a plan here it's not a very in-depth plan but i have started to formulate my ideas of okay these are the levels that i'm interested in again i only got back today so i'm going to spend you know several hours doing much more in-depth analysis but really simply <laughs> you know you wanted an urgent update here's the urgent update really simply for me you know, it's absolutely critical to remain patient. I do not think you want to be jumping into trades, definitely not panic selling, you know, just um, I think you need to have be patient here and calm and collected. And, you know, and I understand a lot of people are probably not that they probably are fearful, they are probably are panicking. Well, all I can truly recommend is um, chartchampions.com because that will help you significantly 
formulating these plans, being ready for the upside, being ready for the downside, and truly start to change your mindset. We are the masters at this uh, of helping you truly adjust your mind to not only think, but also trade just like a professional trader that's in here every single day, extracting money from this gold mine that we call Bitcoin trading. Um, and of course, that is not even my opinion. That is now, that is official with, we are the masters. We are number one in the whole world right now. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty special. Something to be proud of. And uh, all I can say is, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, obviously we've done that special one for you for 500 likes, smash this one to 2000 likes, give this video up to 2000 likes. That requires a lot of, a lot of smashes. If you do that, I will give you a special live stream where we can approach this live in the moment. And, uh, you know, I'll cover how we starting to view this order flow, you know, giving you basically just a really good insight into well, basically what I'm doing every single day. I think it's pretty nice information. Uh, <laughs> so if you'd like that glimpse, hit the likes, share the video, I suppose. All I will say is I hope this has made sense to you. I hope you have understood my thought process, how I'm managing my trades, why, you know, really how it all come down to that initial plan, you know, way back. I mean, this is, this is way back. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew exactly what other people are going to be thinking before they've thought it. And that is the magic. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that, that's the magic. That's that's uh, basically how you get your edge and beat the competition. You know their moves before they know themselves. <laughs> and if you like that, if you want to learn more, hey, we are obviously uh, more, than, more than happy to help you. I'll be back active in the Discord in the group once again. It feels good to be back. And all I can say is I send my love. And of course, CC Paul, send their regards. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day. I'll catch you over in the Discord and goodbye. Cheers.